Hello pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvedril and in this video I'm going to show you how to code uh, in Python of course the roll of a dice. So these are dices, you know them very well and when you roll them you are going to get random numbers, right? Or as random as they can be. So we're going to try to code that, to translate that to code I would say. So for that end, as you can see, this is my desktop computer and the icons are a little bigger so you can see better what I do. So I'm going to use the Python ID, the one I downloaded from the python.org. Uh, it's the most basic one. You can use any other that you may have like VS Code or PyCharm or any other, but this is in my opinion the easiest to show. So I have already a file called dice.py. So that's what we're going, we are going to do. So the first thing is to ask the client, how many dice do you need? So for that, I'm going to create a, a variable that is going to be called how many dice? How many, okay, how many, I'm typing many dice. So this is going to be an input because the client needs to fill this out. And we're going to ask the same, how many dice? And then we we need the possibilities. So how many possibilities do we have? So with these regular dice, as you know, we have six possibilities from one to six, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you have big um, dice with more numbers, like the ones used in Dungeons and Dragons, a game I like, uh, you're going to have more than more than 10, more than 15. So we are going to code that in a variable. So I'm going to call it, dice uh, possibilities like that possibilities yeah so this is going to be a, a a list or an array and it's going to have the values one two three four five and six so those are our values then we're going to use we need uh, the random function so the random function is inside the random library so i need to import it import random there is another way to do it um, this is the classic one another way to do it is uh, from random i'm typing what i'm typing from random import choice so any of those two is going to work so i'm going to comment one for now so i'm going to show you in a few more seconds uh, so we have imported the, imported the random library. So the next is going to be a for loop. So for dice, this is a variable. You can call it anything that you may like. For dice int, uh, if I just type the number of dices, like in this case, like this, it's going to give you an error. Why? Because let's say the number of dices is four. The client has type four. 4 is just an integer, right? It's just a number. You cannot loop through a number. So instead of doing that, we have to use the function range. So what range does is, uh, well, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to explain it. Let's say again, um, uh, the client has type 4. So we're going to have 4 over here, right? So, but the range function, what it does is we have 4 and it's going to give us one, two, three, and four. So that's the range. If we have 10, as you can imagine, it's going to be one, two, three, blah, 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 until 10. So that's why we need this function, uh, range. But there is one, one other thing. Well, I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. This is a four, and I create another variable, which is going to call pick, can be anything. And this one is going to do the actual selection. So as you can see, we have imported the library. So we're going to use it now, random that, and the method I want is choice. So what this method does is allows you to choose randomly uh, from, a, from a collection. In this case, the collection is going to be uh, our, uh, our list. So I'm going to put it there. And then finally we can print something like dice space plus, oh no, dice equal and pick. So what I'm doing here 
is I'm asking the client, how many dice do you want? One, two, three, four, one hundred. And then I have the possibilities, one to six in a list. Then I have a for loop that says for each dice, that's what this means, in range, uh, the number of dice that the client wants. So like I mentioned, range is going to give us the whole number. So, uh, well, not the whole number, the, all the numbers below the number the client chose. So for example, if the client chose uh, five, uh, five is um, is going to give us all in range is going to give, give us one two three four five and six if the client chooses 100 is going to give us from one to 100 so that's what it does so then we create another variable called pick and this one is the one that actually is going to do all the randomness <laughs> so it's going to call the random um, function well uh, the random library and the notation is the name of the library dot and the method that we want to use in that library. So the one we want to use is choice. Random, by the way, has many methods. Choice is just one of them. And I chose choice because it allows us to choose from a, from a collection, in this case, um, this list, okay? And then we print dice and um, dice equal or is equal to pick because pick is going to loop through one two three four and the number of dices but this one is going to give us an error and i'm going to show you why so i save it i'm going to run it allow me to bring it from my other screen i'm going to make it a little smaller like this so it fits over here how many dices let me move this a little uh how many dices let's try two it's giving me an error it says a string object cannot be interpreted as an integer. So what does that mean? When we type, when we ask the client how many dice is, that's, that's, um, they need, um, well, how many dice is, is needed, it's going to save that uh, number as a string. Even though it's a number, it's going to just save a string, is the way it works. So we can put an int over here. So that way it's going to be it's going to say, hey, whatever the client types, obviously a number, because if we type uh, a letter, it's not going to work. Every number that the client types is going to be saved as an integer. Okay, so we do that. And then here, uh, if we run this, it's going to give us an error again, because the problem is here. Uh, we are trying to concatenate a string, this is a string, with a number, and that it doesn't make sense for Python. So we have to convert this pick variable, which is a number, into a string. So for that, we do this, and that's, that is going to turn it into a string. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to run it now. How many dice? So let's say three. So it's giving me that number. Now, it looks like something is wrong because it gave us four in the three cases. So I'm going to run it again. Let's try 10 now. And now you can see the difference. This was <laughs> kind of a, it, it's random. So the three times that it went through the loop, it chose four. All right. So I'm going to run it again. Let's try with a bigger number, uh, 25. So I press enter and we have 25. So six, 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 one, two, four, two, one, one, three, la, la, la. So that's totally random. Something else that we can do is that, like, like I was mentioning, this is one way to do it. I'm going to delete this, and this is the other method, uh, the other way to do it, from random import choice. So here I'm importing directly choice from random. So I don't need to use random anymore. I can use directly the method choice, okay? So I'm going to show you that this works as well. And the last thing we can do is uh, I can add a counter. Counters normally, well, they, they count and they start in zero more, most of the times. And we're going to make it increase by one counter plus one. There is another way to do it, of course, but this is the more the most understandable in my opinion. And we are going to add something here. So dice, we delete this dice. Uh, a string str what the counter 
so because we have to turn this into a string as well so plus and we can type s value like that so two dots and we're going to save and you're going to see what it does random invalid syntaxes what was the error here oh it has to be we have to concatenate it so save it i'm going to run it how many dice let's say 15 dice so this is how it looks now so it says how many dice 15 dice zeros values 5 dice ones value 6 and so on until dice 14's value is 4. so i believe this is more understandable it tells you what dice roll is being is having what number okay so that's how you create, uh, simulate, if you will, uh, the role of dices in Python. So if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.